Joining me on GCS today is Dr. Melissa Balknight. She is our Associate Superintendent for Academic Services. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. We are talking about the new Gifted and Talented Academy at the new Pleasant Ridge Elementary School. And I say new a couple of times in there because it's a new program at a brand new school. Tell us a little bit about what is happening at Pleasant Ridge. We're very excited. 800 students will be housed at Pleasant Ridge for next school year. 200 of those students will be selected from throughout the county and they'll be selected based on their academic ability. So 200 students will get to come to Pleasant Ridge in grades K through four because of they have shown academic excellence in their grade level. And typically those students are three grade levels above to get to come to Pleasant Ridge for the program. And it is, the title describes it accu accurately. It is for students who are gifted and talented. And so it will be a program that will offer a rigorous curriculum, more opportunities. Talk a little bit about what we're going to see with that program. So one of the things that we're going to utilize is something called the Padea concept. So the students will do a lot of Socratic seminars, uh, deeper questioning that they'll get to participate in with their teachers. They'll do a lot of project-based learning. When kids come into this program, they're typically three grade levels above. So they will go through the standard course of study that they'll need to be successful on end of grade testing, but they'll also have the opportunity to grow and advance and progress and meet in the needs of the students will be met on where they are and not to meet the needs of a variety of kids in a classroom. So we're very excited. So you're going to see problem solving. You're going to see a focus on critical thinking. You are going to see a higher level um, a higher level concentration on the, those core subject areas and you're also going to see hands-on learning experiences combined with technology. That is correct and you'll see that in these classrooms the teacher is definitely a facilitator of learning. The kids will drive the path to those enrichment activities and we think that we'll see a lot of great innovative things come out of our classrooms as children are very gifted in their thinking and uh, planning of items or activities. And and it is for students who are currently in elementary students in Gaston County Schools, but it also is open to students outside of Gaston County Schools, mm -hmm. students who may be in charter schools or mm -hmm. private schools or in home schools. They are encouraged to, uh, to apply to be a part of this academy program as well. That is correct. We want the best and brightest to have this opportunity to participate, to be with other children that have that same academic giftedness to come into the program, so we certainly will work with families to get them screened. If they are not in our school system now, they simply need to be a resident of Gaston County. And so there's an application process, there will be a screening process, evaluation mm -hmm. process to meet those admission requirements, and then we will have a lottery that will that will determine the 200 students that will be a part of the Gifted and Talented Academy. That is correct, because we have a limit of 200 seats, 40 students per grade level. Okay, and it's a K-4 program. That is correct. Now, the Gifted and Talented Academy, it is our new magnet program. And, and we have seen that magnet programs have had a lot of interest uh, and support over the past couple years. Parents have said they wanted to see mm -hmm. more school choice. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that that is important for parents? Well, I'll talk about that, but uh, it is a K-4 program. However, the fourth graders will remain and be our fifth graders. Right, and those okay. children will remain there until they leave to go to middle school. So once a parent's child gets into the program, they'll remain at Pleasant Ridge until they go to middle school. One of the things about parents wanting more choice, we know that because I've worked with, worked with students assignment for several years, and about 6,000 families a year apply for a transfer to a different school. We're a neighborhood school system, and they're telling us, our families, that they want something outside of their neighborhood school assignment, and so this is why we're continuing to grow our choice options for families. And we saw that last year with mm -hmm. the Hawks Nest STEAM Academy mm -hmm. that began last year. We had 1,600 applications for roughly 350 50 seats. That shows you the demand is there for school choice options. It is very much there. Parents, in fact, are asking, when are you going to bring more on? We are rigorously moving to bring more options to the community, getting feedback from the community about what interests you and your family, and growing those choice options. Now, we have the two high school programs, the Highland School of Technology. We have the Gaston Early College High School. There's another program that's coming online this fall in August, and that is the Virtual Academy for Middle School Students. Let's talk just briefly about that. Okay. This is our first middle school magnet. 
and we're very excited about it. And typically a student that may attend a virtual academy may be a student that is a champion swimmer that can't uh, accommodate or work within our regular school schedule. So this works for the family. They still get the good instruction from a certified teacher, core instruction. So when they're able to come back to a traditional middle school or high school, they're prepared. Sometimes for other students, this is just an easier transition for them into middle school. And so this will be an online learning program for grades six through eight. And, and it will provide that flexibility mm -hmm. uh, for parents and for students. Mm -hmm. And again, this program is not just for Gaston County Schools. Students outside private, charter, and homeschool students, they will be eligible to be a part of the virtual academy for middle schools. That is correct. Now, we have the application processes for these two magnet programs, the Gifted and Talent Academy, the Virtual Academy. Information is online, the Gaston County Schools website, the application is there, and more information about those programs. It's a very exciting time for our magnet programs. It is very exciting and we, we know that we're meeting the needs of our community as parents have been very receptive already about both of the programs. Dr. Melissa Balknight, our Associate Superintendent for Academic Services, thank you for being with us today on GCS Today. Thank you.